welcome back. So in today's tutorial, we'll be looking into one of the use case, okay, uh, which a lot of people ask me on the community, and I want to throw an light on the same, right? So consider consider a scenario that you have a table, okay, consider any table, and you have created a workflow on top of it, and that particular workflow has some wait for condition or certain timer for certain days, okay, or certain hours. Now you have developed it out, you have published the workflow, and if you want to test it out. So will you wait for that per, that many days for that execution to happen for the complete execution of that flow? For instance, after 10 days, a notification will get triggered. So will you wait for 10 days to complete your testing? No, right? So how we can get rid of the timer at that particular point of time to complete our testing? So we'll be looking into that. So for this, we will again use a uh, table called incident. Okay. And for this, I've already created a workflow. So if I go to the workflow editor, pretty simple workflow I've created and you can you can also relate to it right so I have created a workflow called incident trigger okay. this is really near to my heart right? so I will just open this incident trigger out so I've created this workflow on uh, incident table and what exactly this workflow is doing so it will begin okay it will begin when the record gets created and it has a timer activity with the name as salary weight. So this this is the core of this particular activity. Okay. So basically this is the salary weight as you know, the duration will be 30 days. And after 30 days you will be receiving a notification called as salary credited. Okay, with a message. Hooray, you received you received your salary. Okay, your salary has been credited to your account. Now if I go and if I go and create this table out, create a record out, right? So let's go over here. And if I create a record, let's consider, uh, I will go to incident dot two. I will, I'm creating a new record. So we'll have a fresh workflow context created for the scene. And if I consider, uh, if I pull the caller as able tutor. Able tutor. Okay, and I will give what is the status of my salary and I will save it out. So definitely a workflow must have created for this, right? And we'll see the workflow for it. So how to see the workflow context. So we, I will explain how to, how you can see the workflow context also. So I, you have to go and just copy the CSID for that particular record out. You can go here. You can search for active context, which will give the current context for the workflow. And here you can search into related records. The CSID. If you have multiple workflows out, so it will give different workflow names, and then you can choose which workflow. You can filter add the filter condition for which particular workflow you want to check the context. And if we go over here, okay, let's go over here. I will open this. So it's in the executing state. Okay, you can see workflow executing activities. It's currently in the executive state. Uh, it's salary weight at the salary weight stage. Okay, it has completed the begin. It is waiting over here. Okay, and we know that this particular style. And if you want to show the workflow, right? If I go to the show workflow, so this is the current state. And as you know that this particular activity will now get executed after one month. So if I want to test this flow out. So I have to wait for one month to get this activity executed, but you can trigger it out. How will we think that? So what do you have to do? What do you have to do? You have to come to the activity context or workflow context. You can open this activity out. Okay. So I will open this activity and Okay, and what it states that it started today, okay, and blah blah blah, the celebrating state is running, so on, okay, and you have a scratch pad over here. So the next activity you can get from this particular schedule. So what you have to do, you have to just go to the label and copy this label out. So I'm just copying this label out, control C. Then you have to go, as you must be knowing, whenever a certain activity future activities we want to schedule it goes into schedule table only so let's jump into schedule table 
okay schedule and we have to go into which schedule so or we have a table name called says trigger also for the same okay so let's open any schedule out okay i'll just go to this schedule okay the base table is common for everything right i'll go for all and what we can do we can simply search that particular workflow label which we have copied and we found the record for the same now if we open this record it gives the context when exactly the next activity will happen and so on so it states that it will happen on the next after 4 weeks after 30 days okay the next action will happen so we have to wait for this particular point of time to have that particular activity executed but we have a button over here if it's not visible on the form you can configure the form and just change the condition for the ui action to get this visible on the form if we click on this particular wait now execute now button this will trigger that particular event to trigger that particular um uh, action or to, to trigger that particular timer activity at that particular point of time only so if i click on execute now now our workflow should get completed okay so if i go back so it was in this state right okay it was in it was stuck over here if i refresh it out so it got completed okay so this is how or uh, you can you can get rid of the timer activity or the wait for activity and just keep on going with the, your testing okay i hope this is pretty clear to you okay it it's used in today to day activity you may be using a, a lot of timer activities in your workflows and also on so you can while testing you can use this particular approach so this is all for today's tutorial i hope you like it out um please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified with this kind of videos in the future also till then stay safe stay nice happy and have a nice day thank you